Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Daloso fig. And the Daloso is pretty much a fabled, lost, it's like a myth, it's a legend, this fig, that was grown in Italy years ago. And it was originally depicted in Galicio's drawings. Galicio, what he had done, he pretty much traveled all throughout Italy and made it his life to document fruit. He drew fruit. Um, he also talked about the fruit and he put together a nice little manuscript and here's actually a photo I'm gonna bring it up on my phone right now of the Daloso and it's very difficult to see well that's actually a worse view but you can see in the Daloso here it's it's got a weird characteristic to it there's a bird pecking there on the top and that's a green fig on the top, a white fig, and then the bottom half is a black fig. So no one has really seen this characteristic too much throughout history, uh, in recent years especially. However, one nursery in Italy called Belfiore Nursery, they really uh, try to catalog a lot of fruits as well. They believe that they have found the original Daloso, and this is it, this is the one from Belfiore Nursery. And I was out here two days ago, I think even maybe yesterday, I can't remember. And this thing had just kind of started to swell. Um, and the bottom was completely dark as you see it here, separated. And then the top was mostly green, but it had that reddish purple tinge to it. It wasn't exactly as dark as you see here. So I don't know really if, you know, based off of, and I think this is what Belfiore Nursery believes is that I don't know if Galicio really intended to depict the fig in his drawing at the perfect ripeness, or if that's just some interesting phenomenon that he found um, that the fig can do. I don't know. And I think that's what Belfiore Nursery believes, is that they are of the opinion that that's what this fig does when it's less ripe, is that it looks like the fig in the depiction when it's less ripe. However, when it's fully ripe, you can definitely see right now that this is not what is depicted in his drawing. I mean, this doesn't look anything like it. So who really knows if this is it or not? I'm not claiming it is, but uh, to me, this is mostly a novelty. And I think it's worth documenting for you guys, you know, for science, for just to show you guys a different type of fig. This is a mule type fig is what they call them, where they get this separation here and it's kind of like two figs in one. We're gonna cut this open. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. You can see it really on the inside, but there's really two figs in one in here, and it's kind of really just for cosmetic purposes, kind of like the, the striped figs, the Ramadas. Most of them, in all honesty, don't really do well here, except for uh, Regato del Salento, and a lot of them don't really taste all that great either. I mean, you have Panache, which is a really great fig, when it's caprified and grown in California. You have Martinica Ramada and Parrot Jaw Ramada. Um, there's probably some other ones, but to be honest with you, uh, these are mostly novelty type figs. But it's nice though that this fig doesn't always do this. And if it did always do this because it's, not only is it cosmetic, but it's also kind of ruining the quality. You can see it's split over here, it's split here. The eye doesn't look too good. Uh, it's really getting some cracking in it that's not ideal for the conditions here. So it doesn't really ripen well. It doesn't hold up well. And But the other figs on the tree here, you can see are perfectly normal and look like they're gonna be perfectly normal. Although this one looked like it was gonna be perfectly normal. Like it looked like this. And then it turned into this double fig thing. So, um, you know, I don't know, I can't really guarantee that these are gonna do the same thing, but the point is I have this fig for other reasons. I don't have it just because of this. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have it. I don't have it because it's, I believe it to be the original depicted in Galicio's drawings. I think this one's probably quite early. It's definitely very rain resistant um, when it ripens like this. I mean, it has no blemishes, no issues. You can see on this one here. And also, I think it's probably a bit hardy. So I actually put one of these in the ground. But uh, we're gonna cut this open now. I wanna show you guys what the inside looks like very quickly here. Take this over to the patio table. It's kind of a really strange fig. It's actually leaking honey. And it's not really perfectly ripe either, uh, which is a bit of a shame. 
It seems like the bottom's more ripe than anything. Uh, we kind of just knocked out the microphone there. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Anyway, I'm going to cut this open. It's such a strange looking fig. It's, you see it's getting some mold here because of the rain we've been getting. And that's just not good, you know? That's not something that people really want. I don't want to eat it. And then the, even the eye looks really strange. There's ants all over it. There's probably mold on the interior here. But again, for science, oh wow, that looks so strange. Look at that. So you can really kind of see, and what has been kind of depicted in the drawing is that there's two voids to this thing. You know, you got a void here in the top part, but there should be a smaller void right here. And you can almost kind of say that that's a void, but not really. There's a side view here. And then there's the inside. So the line is about right there at the bottom of that void. It actually looks quite good on the inside, believe it or not. I didn't think this thing was ripe. See, it's got a long neck. So even based off the neck, it probably doesn't look anything like uh, the one in Galicia's drawings. I want to taste this because I actually think it's going to be kind of good. I wasn't going to taste it. Yeah, and hopefully you guys can hear me well. Kind of going to take off the mold here on the exterior because I don't really want to be eating mold. In fact, I probably shouldn't be eating. Even just taking it off is probably not going to do it for me, but whatever. All right. It actually looks quite strange on the inside. It's not bad. It's kind of mild, even though it looks, uh, it's very sweet. It looks, um, you know, a bit underripe from the exterior and the interior looks a bit ripe. So I think it's a bit underripe though. And definitely more on the more mild side in terms of the berry flavor. It's quite sweet, has a nice texture to it. It's almost a congealed texture with this one. It's quite good. I'd say that's like a three out of five, believe it or not. And I wasn't, I was expecting maybe a two or a one. I didn't think that fig was going to even be edible. So pretty incredible. Um, anyway, guys, that is the Daloso. Potentially the, the original, who knows, but I have my doubts. So, all right, guys, take care.